Hey everybody, this is Benjamin15 and we're going to do a review today. We're going to review the Zebra V301 fountain pen in the fine point. Alright, so this is a stainless steel pen from Zebra. Uh, got some plastic elements, the grip, the caps, the ends. And what's different about this one is this is a fountain pen. Okay, so there's our nib there. It's got a big uh, plastic cover on it, the hood. Uh, and basically, so unlike any kind of pens that you might be used to, like ballpoints or rollerballs or gels, where you can just simply grab it with any orientation of the tip and start writing, uh, like so, with the fountain pen, you have to have the nib in just such a way so you can write on the paper and make it work. Okay, as you can see it makes for a very dark line. It's very wet ink But that's That is ba basically what you're going to get with a fountain pen a very wet ink Okay, so if you try to rotate the nib or don't have it at the right angle You just don't you just have Scratches on the page and as you can see as I rotate the pen I'll start writing again, but if I rotate it then it just doesn't want to work. I've actually flipped it over and now it's writing the opposite way. Wow, check that out. Okay. But it's made to have in a certain orientation with the paper so it'll write. Okay. So looking on the inside. All right. So you can see I've done some writing. Let me grab another cartridge. There are several different ways to load a fountain pen but this particular one this base model is that's not it that's not it as well there we go this is you can tell this is for the pen because it's marked with the v01 so if you compare it i've only used the fountain pen for maybe a week at work just to kind of test out the pen and that's how much ink i've used so this, for my standard writing in a week, would last uh, eight to nine days, maybe. But the good thing is, they're not that expensive. This is a cartridge from another uh, fountain pen manufacturer, and the cartridge looks fairly universal. So this would be black, and then this is a purple that I picked up, just to kind of snazz up that fountain pen. All right. So as far as pins go, this is not an everyday use kind of thing simply because of the orientation and how much uh, maintenance and care you need to take with it. On the first day, I thought I would be real smart and mark the nib orientation so I can grab it more quickly and begin writing with it more quickly. Uh, and I completely messed up the nib, I think for maybe a day. It just was very scratchy and very spotty in the writing. And I just couldn't get it to work consistently. Terrible penmanship. But, you know, hey. All right. So, if you look at the inside of the cap, there's a ridge in it. And it's going to make a very tight seal when closed. And that is to maintain the consistency of the ink. You don't want it to dry out. Uh, when you're not using it, the best position is just to leave it flat or toward the tip. If you lean it back the other way, obviously gravity will pull that into the cartridge and you just might need a little bit more shaking to get it started. So when you do load a new cartridge, you want to insert it until you hear a loud snap and you feel that give, a uh, very satisfying click as you engage the uh, ink cartridge into the pen. And then you just shake it up to you know, encourage the flow toward the nib and then you start your writing. But as far as being consistent in writing, it's worked really well. Now, if I haven't used it in a while, there might be a little bit of scratching or a little bit of shaking or that piece of paper like with a ballpoint, you just scratch it and it'll get to work. 
We're not going to do a smudge test with this ink because we know this is not made to uh, be smudge resistant or highlighter friendly. This is something that you write and you have to give it a little bit of time for it to dry. Not a super long time, but you know, more than you, it, it's something that takes conscious thought. You know, with, you know, Pentel ink or, you know, Pilot ink that just dries very quickly, you don't have to take such consideration in uh, your writing and drying and all that stuff. But with a with this uh, fountain pen or any fountain pen, you're going to need to give that some consideration. All right, so here's the breakdown. Okay. It has a textured grip. I don't find that it's that big of an issue. You know, I you have to be so deliberate in how you hold it that, you know, comfort grip is not really going to be a factor for me. Now, if it had a grip that was kind of contoured to kind of force you to hold it in a certain orientation where it's easier to just pick it up randomly and get going, that would be a good thing. Durable stainless steel barrel. You're not going to have to worry about that. Price, about $4.99. You know, it's if you're wanting to experiment with a fountain pen, see what it's like. Uh, this might be the one for you. There's other models about in that price range that might be a little bit better. All right. It's a little unforgiving to write with. Um, is this for a beginner? Yeah, just simply because of the price point. But And then it would teach you maybe some do's and don'ts. And maybe if I have ink on my hands, uh, how to avoid that. But, you know, it, it's good to kind of break into the the fountain pen experience uh, at the lower price point instead of going for the thousands of dollars and whatnot. All right. So here are my handles on all the socials. If you could like, follow, subscribe, donate, I don't know. You know what? You know how this game is played. This is not new to you. But thank you so much for your time. Uh, I did get to see my daughter yesterday. So both my son and my daughter are going to graduate this year. And I'm very excited for both of them. They're beginning different stages in their life. And I, I aspire to be the kind of people that they already are. All right. Thank you so much, folks. You have a great day.